Hey everyone, today I want to show you the Arturo Meris Eye Moth, otherwise known as a Bullseye Moth. This one's just hatched, as you can see. It is absolutely stunning. Now you can tell it's a male because of the colour. Males are bright yellow, the females tend to have a more brown on the wing. If you're wondering why the moth seems to be shivering or vibrating, it's because what he's trying to do is warm his muscles up before taking flight. You see, when a moth vibrates its wings, it generates heat through muscle contractions, similar to how we might shiver to warm up on a cold day. The warming process helps them get ready for flight, especially in the cooler temperatures when the muscles might be too cold to function properly. This is how you know that they're going to fly off though, because they do give you these warning signs. These moths are famous for the stunning eye spots on the hind wings, which they use to scare off predators by mimicking the eyes of large animals. The thing is, these moths don't actually have mouths, and so they don't live long, and they only live for around 10 days, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a male and female of this moth, but the ones that hatched all turned out to be male. This moth is part of the Satineidae family. I hope I pronounced that right. The family of silk moths are so vibrant and beautiful and have some of the largest moths in the whole world. I absolutely love the lunar moth and actually at the moment I'm raising Atlas Moth Capilla so I'm hoping that goes really well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take some quick photos of this little fella if he settles down. I always find it easier taking photos of the females because they tend to be a little bit more relaxed and they don't fly off as much as the male. I'm just trying to encourage him to walk on my hand so I can move him over onto the flower and obviously get a photo of him. There we go, look how beautiful he is. Look at that antennae. It's not as fluffy as I thought it would be. Usually with the atlas moths, they're really, really fluffy for males. These ones look a little bit thin, but I suppose it's because they're smaller moths. I love how beautiful these moths are. People often tell me that they hate moths, and I just I just don't understand why, because look how gorgeous they are. I managed to get a photo, and I used the Canon M50 camera with the Laura 65mm lens. Oh my goodness, how cute! It looks like he's snuggling into the flowering, getting all comfy. Oh, so cute. I always get distracted when I'm trying to do my photography because they're just so cute and I'll just sit and start watching them and I forget I'm supposed to be even taking a photo of them. If you like my content, please do me a favour and like, subscribe and comment on the video. You can see he's, he's warming up his wings. I think he's probably going to try to fly off again. He has flown off a few times and I've got him back and done some photos, but I'll probably put him away soon. I'm going to grab one more photo and then I'll put him away. Although he seems to have relaxed, he looks quite comfy on that little branch. Let's just admire the absolute beauty of these moths.